I'm gonna go yes, talk to Let's give it up for the moms and Kelly Townsend one more time. That was awesome. <laughs> that was great. You know, she is. She was there with us. She was there willing to fight, willing to get out with the people. I remember her several, ten, I can't count how many different occasions. As a senator, I can assume that you are pretty busy, but she has never been too busy to get out and march right alongside you. We need more people like that. How's it going, guys? My next speaker doesn't need much of an introduction. I'm sure you all know who he is. Um, Brian is a United States Air Force veteran who did for eight years in the security and the security forces have deployed three times to the Middle East in support of the global war on terror. I'm going to see if I can talk to the senator about the, the audit and stuff. So you're going to be on my face for a little bit. He holds an MBA in global management from the University of Phoenix. He holds a bachelor's degree in Let me know if you guys can't hear me. Oh, I was just going to ask Senator, I'm live streaming right now, if that's okay. I'm live streaming right now, if that's okay, Senator. Okay. You're watching No, no, I'm live streaming oh, the whole thing right now. Um, so I had a question in regards to the uh, voter security measures that you're going to be putting in place. Um, does that include auditing the voter rolls? Brian Battle has been by a business insider with the YouTube so we're, that we're has a story that has reached yeah. over 175,000 yeah. Because I know right now you have the canvassers going and, and talking to the election commission, and that's the only way they're investigating it right now, which they've already found people have vacant lots and stuff. So obviously that doesn't change the results of the election, right? But it allows you guys in the, in the legislative branch to fix anything moving forward. We even have to do the federal only. Federal only? Federal only. There's a whole nother 36,000. Okay. And those can be people that just go from out of state and say, oh yeah, I live here. Here's a bill. So many layers. Yeah, a thousand paper cuts. How, how does the Senate fight that? How do you guys get that fixed? So do you, can you just ignore the feds on that? Like, on the yeah, federal only? On the federal only, yeah. Well, the biggest like, thing we can do, and we'll have to have to tell it, but tighten up the kind of ID they can use. Right now they can just use the state state. So, uh, guys, I'm going to talk to you a little bit uh, today Thanks. about uh, uh, our rights okay. here as uh, Arizona citizens. Right. I mean, you need a, a photo ID or a photo ID to get your benefits, right? So why don't you need it to vote? Okay. So, um, is there anything you can tell me about the audit going forward? Any, any breaking news that the Senate can share? Just, just okay. That, um, this means that every the Arizona citizen has these rights. Okay. And, and when we talk about the okay. law, we know that the I don't US know what I can talk about what I can't. Law law land. We know that the Arizona Constitution is below that. No, no, you're good. Below that, we have ordinances, statutes, different things like that. You know, mandates. To yeah. so there's a higher yeah, definitely with the DOJ right, right now, and trying to get involved, it seems like you guys are right on target. Yeah. In some way so, or another, which they are doing yeah. more and more the best. Uh, my name is Spencer, by the way. Spencer, yeah, I'll this tag me. Yeah. Tag me so yeah, I'll so tag you in this. All right. Have, oh, thank you. Thanks, Senator Townsend. I would encourage all of So hopefully you guys heard all that. Uh, sorry for the, for the shaky camera. I forgot, to, I forgot to ask one thing. With the routers, place, what's going on with right the routers? Because the, the so Dems and the, the county get in place where the governor the really does have sole authority okay. over the entire yeah. state. All right, this is fundamentally... Yeah, because that's, uh, that's why I thought of how our government is supposed to be set up. Okay. All right. So there you go. So there you guys have it. A year ago they're today, trying to get, they're trying to get the, Capitol, the voter were about or the routers here, because that we will prove if they were connected to the Internet or not. To not shut down. We told them, we can't do this. If you shut down early, we're going to have no representation. So, we can't have the governor making all the decisions. 